this trip to the Aboa area of Ikorodu. Arriving at the first shrine with a rescued couple and the alleged owner of the shrine, the police went to work. While this was going on, the bulldozers arrived and wasted no time. The commissioner said it was a rescue of this couple earlier in the week that led to the discovery of these other shrines. He said he is determined to protect residents of the state and would stop at nothing until that is achieved. I have the mandate of all the traditional rulers in Ikorodu and indeed the government of Lagos State, not only to uncover shrines like this that are being used to commit crime, but also to destroy them. This is why I always tell my officers and men that we must endeavor to build confidence and build trust with members of the public. It is based on this trust and confidence that we are building that very eminent persons in Ikorodu give this information that is now leading to the uncovering of three very notorious shrines in Agbawa. Yeah, actually, uh, one man introduced me to one of these guys, Alpha. Then this my woman has an uh, attack some month back. Then after the co they have collected a lot of money from me. For what? What did you say? For the um, uh, attack. They say, uh, you know, the body. They call it Alpha. Alpha in the Yoruba. That done, the convoy headed to the second shrine. The second and third had something in common, and that's the discovery of coffins in each. As the demolition was going on at the fourth shrine, a little drama ensued. This will not be fake dollar. Behold, hard currency began flying about. <laughs> 